Good morning. It's been a few days since I um, got back to my art journal, and this morning I'm looking at that a little self care, um, and then now moving into um, working on the journal. I just feel an, an urge to do that. But before I get started, I wanted to share with you a few things. Um, I did take some acrylic paints, I watered them down, I used this tool here, which is nothing special but a stick and some painter's tape and material around there to make it look a little nicer and more primitive. And then these are just dried, um, grasses uh, that the stems that I cut off. So I had dipped it in here and it was um, watered down. So it's almost like an India ink effect, um, which you can use India ink. And then I just kind of scribed into that. And I had suggest, thought I would be doing some writing and maybe that will still happen. I'm not sure. You know, I don't want to give myself too much, um, you know, rigidness within this work here. But then I was, um, <clears throat> recycling the pepper container, the black pepper, and, and I seen that the lid could come off. So then, <clears throat> excuse me, I stamped into here and then I stamped on that in these sections here. And then I've had to let that dry. Now, <clears throat> I gave my husband this card. As you can see, this um, uh, Katie's uh, Davis's designs that she has on here. I really like this leaf effect and I do have a leaf and I thought well maybe I could cut it out add a little bit more embellishment of myself in there and use that as a stencil and put those in those areas or stamp within there. But before I do that what I'd like to do and I'm going to show you because it is going to take a little bit of time to dry is, I'm going to use it on my light palette here, is a little bit of the, the white acrylic, any kind of white acrylic, and I'm just going to kind of spread some areas on here, uh, thin, that's why I'm using my hand, so that I can stamp on here and I have the background and maybe some of this kind of throw falling showing through <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we'll see what happens we'll let this dry so then when I do a stamp and, and add in there um, we've got a white background to work with um, I can still do writing if I want to and this is all on the back side of this one here that pulled out. So um, I don't want to leave a plain sheet, so that's why I decided to do something with that. Carrying on the theme of the colors of the papers that I used on this side, um, what I had left and worked with that. So now I'm just going to let this kind of dry a little bit here. Maybe a little bit more over here and we'll see where this goes. Alrighty, I have got my leaf cut out here from the card and I added some extra embellishments along the edge like little triangles cut off there. And I had tr set this here and used this sponge. I had mixed up this color green because it is a green that's on the other side. And I used the sponge and I went around and it just got a, a little bit too loose for what I was um, looking for. So then I took that off and then I used a baby wipe and rubbed it. So then of course the green, there was nothing protecting it. Um, and you can see the white paint that's right there. So the paper soaked up all the green. So at this point right now, then I had it was wet and then I decided to set it upside down and do like a rubbing, uh, a print of it. So um, I like that and um, this is wonderful to be able to see how um, things can work out. So now I'm going to do this again and I'm going to share it with you. Let's put this off to the side and I'm going to, it looks a little wet here, something, yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's take this and I have another piece of um, deli paper and I'm going to put this one here and then I'll take the deli paper and set it on top of there and I think it got a little wet but it's okay we'll see how this works and then I'll pull this off 
and that one did get a little wet. Something was in my acrylics. Um, let's try this again. So maybe, see that green in there is kind of interesting how that <clears throat> worked out. There, it's toning a green, and there's that. So I'm going to have to get this so that it's not as wet when I work on it. So I'll just kind of get this all off of there, and I'll come back and do that again. So it was interesting how it led me to the background with color. I had some color going on already with it from the other pages on this side, but um, now I'm reacting to what I what is going on, and um, we'll see what happens. Let's try this again. I know what the problem was. It's my little sponge roller um, was sitting in my little uh, bucket and it was wet. <laughs> so I brought more water to the surface than I needed to. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the rest of this here. And so now when I make this print of the leaf, it won't be as diluted on the surface there. So I'm gonna reprint this so I have a fuller one. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll on the color. Okay, and you can see what happens there. And then I'm going to try to get this right back where it was. And then take another deli sheet, or you could use a paper towel, just so that I'm not getting my fingers all messed up there, which they are now, but at least so I can get a good press of that. There you go, that's better. Okay, and... We'll make, I think what I'm going to do is play around with this, do it again in larger, but um, then I'll bring in some smaller leaves. I'll cut those out. Okay. And let's bring this in on top of the color. Take that sheet. Use my fingers and just print down like that. Okay. Pull that up. This is just paper, just something that, um, there, I like that. A little bit more, get some more color on there. And this will not last long. <clears throat> As I can see, it's already starting to disintegrate because of the wet paint, and it wants to stick on there. So um, I will put this one here, set that on top. Alrighty, whoops, <laughs> piece of magazine. Okay, and pull that up. Alrighty, and um, now I don't have any in there, so should I? Let's see what happens. I could make it a little darker, or a little lighter, or print in any area that doesn't. Let's go right in here over the cross of it. You probably won't see it real good because that's darker color. So the contrast of the colors won't be there as of on the white. So let go. Okay, good, good. And as this goes, you take a quick inventory or a quick look at this. And then you see sometimes in printing, it's good that things go off. So let me stick this underneath there for a second. There, well, it won't work. Okay, and another one. I'll just press that edge. Okay. There. Okay, got a little underneath there. But I like that a lot better. Okay, I cut another uh, leaf from that uh, card. And um, I added a little bit more um, character to it. A little bit of me in there with these kind of edges that are going on there. So this is smaller, and what I did is I put a little plastic wrap around my roller so that it can stay moist for the paint and it doesn't dry up. And I'm gonna kinda mix this on my little palette here. Uh, the palette is from <laughs> my vegetables from the grocery store, so I save those and work on those. Okay, and so now I have the lighter green, and so what I'm gonna do is I will take this Let's find one I've used, this one here, and I'll put this on there. And then I'm going to roll the color on, and then I am going to place this here. 
And then just take another piece of that deli paper. Let's make sure we can see this. Set it on there and rub that in. Now let's see what happens. Okay, it's a little lighter. You can barely see it. So it was lighter value on lighter. So that's a good thing to realize what, what can happen. And in an art journal, um, it doesn't really matter. So then let's stick this one on top of this here because that's darker. And take that and rub on there. Okay, and pick that up. Okay, and you can see how that's visible and that's not, but this can be embellished later. Um, do it again. Again and again, repetition, that's kind of neat. Um, that's lighter there, so you look for a little darker area. That's got some darker ink underneath there, or um, the black acrylic that I used when I was making those marks. There. Okay, whoop. Let's get that again. All right, and here's a dark area here. Oops, let's see, this one probably didn't get pressed down there. And pick that up there. Now this is totally changed. I am reacting differently to this layout here, this um, accordion fold, than what I thought. And <clears throat> if I don't do any writing in there, that's okay. Uh, this is the art journal. This is where I um, do something and then I um, respond to that, what I've done. Let's bring this in here. And this is where a lot of, a lot of fun learning happens because you do things that don't turn out and, um, and then you try to uh, create what can help it, I would say, um, work for you and what you see. So many different ways to do art journaling. And this is what I found um, is very therapeutic for me. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this back in and I'm actually going to make it even lighter here. And I'm going to put a little bit more white acrylic on there. Real quick like here. Mix this up with my little roller. Get that to roll around there. These little rollers are great. They do absorb a lot of the acrylics. So, so now I had the little one. That's there. And now what I'm going to do is take this one here. Now when I turn it over, so um, I'm going to offset. Set this on there. And now I'm going to offset it. So it looks a little skewed. We'll see how that looks. Kind of pushes the other one back. It's so green outside with such lushness here in the summer um, around us. I can't help but bring in the green. Okay, there and Oops, wrong side. Let's go to this side. Okay, and we'll bring this here. Okay. Now all of a sudden I'm not even looking at um, the marks that I made underneath there. I'm looking at where I printed the green and working with that. Building up those layers. Okay, we got one more there, but I think, I don't know, maybe we'll do just a, a little one over here and put that on. Okay, whoop, didn't really turn out very good, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, here's this little guy here again. Sometimes I can't stop myself. 
Okay, that's a lighter area. Okay. We can put some up there. Keep going while it's wet, right? <laughs> okay. Looks a little messy. Um, and that's okay, because sometimes it gets a little messy before um, the good stuff starts to happen. There. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Oh, that's a piece of paint there. Um, and we'll see what the next step might be. Just a quickie here. I had some still wet, so I stamped it on the deli sheet. I can cut this out, and this can be transparent later in some other projects. So um, just wanted to share that last little tidbit. <laughs> 